fisheries are a critical component to supporting coastal ecosystems and contributing to the food supply. However, several fisheries uh, are known to be under uh, different pressures, such as overfishing, climate change, and mismanagement. Uh, the graph here shows the decline in the cod stocks off of the Gulf of Maine. They uh, went, underwent a catastrophic decline and have yet to recover. Now, there's been a lot of research money and a lot of time trying to figure out why the cod declined, but there's not a consensus answer just yet. Uh, one of the existing hypotheses suggests that marine mammal predation, primarily by the gray seal, Helicarus gripus, is contributing to uh, an increased predation pressure that is preventing recruitment of young cod into the population. Now, the, uh, you can estimate marine mammal consumption using certain models. However, these models have a key assumption, and that's that all of the individuals within the population are doing the exact same thing with regards to their foraging behavior, meaning they think that they're eating all of the same species and they're eating that in the same amounts. And while this is a nice assumption, it is biologically unrealistic. Uh, recent research with other species of pinnipeds across the world has shown that um, while well, the assumption is that they are generalist foragers, <clears throat> meaning that they eat a wide variety of prey items, this recent research based off of the analysis of stable isotopes suggests that instead certain species display individual uh, specialization, meaning that they're eating fewer resources out of the total available or they're foraging in specific locations. Now stable isotopes allow you to do this because carbon and nitrogen signatures reflect where a predator was eating and what they were eating. And despite the increasing prevalence of gray seals in the coastal environment of the Gulf of Maine and this assumed predation pressure on Atlantic cod, there is very little that is known about their foraging behavior. So to fill this knowledge gap, I used stable isotope analysis of seal whiskers from seals that were captured off of Chatham Harbor in Massachusetts to examine whether they were individual specialists or generalists. So whiskers are a great archival tissue, meaning that they collect information uh, over months to potentially years of the foraging effort of the animal. Uh, by sampling them at set intervals, you're able to calculate the variability within the carbon and nitrogen signatures. And this variability can tell you how much uh, uh, of the uh, prey resources they're using, or how wide that may be, or how narrow that may be. And this variability can then be used to calculate an index of specialization. And as you can see here on this graph on the left, most of the gray seals that I sampled were indeed individual specialists as opposed to individual generalists. So not only was this the first time that we identified individual specialization in this species, but it shows that the underlying assumption of generaliza uh, generalization is incorrect. Thus, we should uh, encourage modelers who are trying to estimate marine mammal consumption to incorporate this underlying source of variability into models so that we can more accurately um, <clears throat> uh, estimate the consumption of uh, marine mammals. Thank you.